After 9-11, I assisted four people in going to Kashmir. This is about a week after 9-11 happened. I should have obviously not helped them. I mean, it's just, it, it's so ridiculous to even say it now because it seems so obvious. I have to own that because I did make choices that were, you know, extremely foolish and I did fall into a sort of mindset that was, um, you know, extreme. And I don't deny that, you know, so I have to, I have to own the consequences of my action. I was in the same unit as the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski, Eric Rudolph, the bomber of the 1996 Olympics, Terry Nichols, who was involved in the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. I was with Richard Reed, the shoe bomber. Richard Reed and I were fairly close to each other. We used to debate through letters. At some point he's like, well, I don't even know why you're debating me because I have a life sentence. And that's how a lot of people with these sentences are, is, you know, they might as well just double down. Because it's very hard to admit that you threw your life away for, you know, trash. He had been immersed in the ideology of Al-Qaeda, and he had been in Afghanistan for a long time. So he was able to intelligently debate me using the arguments that he had absorbed and that had motivated him to try to blow up an airplane of innocent people. Their belief really revolves around their hatred uh, for the rulers of the Muslim world. And their hatred of the West really stems from their belief that the West is supporting these people. Their strategy is that, is that they want to attack the West in order to cause the West to retaliate against the Muslims. They believe that the deaths of other Muslims is justifiable uh, if it means awakening the Muslims to um, to their cause. Our real obligation is not to accept being herded into diametrically opposed camps. Our obligation is not to allow ourselves to be manipulated and herded by um, uh, by lunatics and fools, but our obligation is to unite against these people who would seek to spark a global apocalypse. I have to accept responsibility for harming my children by taking actions that left them without a father for 14 years. And my mother passed away um, while I was in prison and I was uh, not able to be there with her on her deathbed. My uh, parents lost friends. My kids are now under a stigma for, you know, being my children. These are positions that I put them into through my poor choices. And I regret that very much. And um, I hope to make it up to them, you know, and I hope, it up, I hope to make it up to uh, my country. I hope to make it up to the Muslims. The only thing that I can say is that anyone who would say about me, oh, how dare, you know, the United States let this guy out of prison. I would say to them, you know, don't you believe in redemption? Are you saying that there's no good that a person can do after having made mistakes? <laughs>